sun's come out. Um, it's also the first time I've seen the Bosma not a tailwind. Um, but yeah, it's proving uh, to be true to its character of being up and down and all over the place. I guess the conditions have been pretty variable throughout the week, so we were sort of expecting fast tailwind here, um, but we got a bit of a head breeze today, so uh, it was taking a bit of time to adapt, and coming from Italy where the water was a fair bit warmer as well, it's sort of just about uh, making changes to the, to the varying conditions, but happy to get through the rep and uh, looking forward to the semi-finals. I guess semi-finals are always tough races and for us we're just sort of looking to to make sure we nail the sort of rhythm and speed we were getting um, back in Italy so uh, just making sure we, we adapt to the different water here and um, you know not taking anything for granted getting through semi-finals anything can happen. It can be difficult just because you can uh, be at the start and it'll be calm and then 500 metres into it you have a cross breeze and then at the end it could be a tail or a head or anything so I think crews that can adapt throughout the race to the different conditions will, will do well. Um, I've only raced here once before way back in 2007 and uh, can't remember much from it so um, obviously you know get, getting, a, getting a few rows between the heats and semis are, are important just to make sure we, we know what's going on out there. Pretty, pretty good first thousand. Uh, to be, you know, to, to be brutally honest, in the second thousand we just faltered a bit. I think just because we just spent our bickies a bit early on. The first thousand was what we wanted. We got out to a good start. Crucially, we got a really good second five. We actually closed in on the uh, on the leaders through the second five. I think that in the end, when the calls came to to bring the the effort up and to bring the rate up at the finish, we just didn't really have much to give. And that's the, the, the brutal honesty of it all. Okay. Yeah, look, there, there are positives we need to take because, uh, as uh, as one of our numbers said after the uh, after the race, if this was next year, there'd still be a, an Olympic spot for us to try and qualify for the country. So, you know, like it, it, it is uh, another important race. Uh, the, the positives we can take out of it are that um, we're getting good starts, and and crucially, we're also getting good second 500s. Uh, which is not the way that it was before. We, we used to kind of get out to reasonable starts and then just go missing in action through the second five. So to be able to nail that is, uh, is really positive. I guess the, the next thing is just to be able to do it in a way, uh, you know, where we get to the third five and, um, and you know, we, feel st we still feel like there's something left in the legs to go for the, for the, for the second half of the race.